Hi everyone, I just wanted to come to you today and take a few minutes to give you an update about what's going on at Literacy Now. Many of you may be wondering what is going on with us now that HISD has announced that in-person schooling will not take place until at least mid-October. Well, I want to assure you that we have plans A through Z in place and so Rather than starting in person as we had planned, uh, we're going to start with our plan B, which was um, starting and delivering programs virtually. So um, Jacqueline, our wonderful program director, and I are in the midst of meeting via Zoom with each of our principals last week and then this week and next week to um, find out how we can best serve their students. And we are making preparations for professional development um, to really be stepped up in the area of virtual program delivery because we want to be able to give the kids the very best experience that they can have, not just academically, but to support them emotionally and socially as well. And so we are uh, diligently working on that and um, are excited about those plans and the way that we can be flexible and adapt to um, the situation that we find ourselves in. In fact, we've always laughed and joked at um, Literacy Now for years, even before when we were making it better, that flexibility is our middle name. And who knew that that would be the most important characteristic of a nonprofit or a for profit or anybody right now as an individual to be flexible. And I'm so proud of our team that no matter what comes their way, they are flexible, they're nimble, they're ready to do whatever it takes to serve the children and families that y'all have entrusted with us um, to serve. And so in a few weeks, you'll be hearing more from me about specifics, but right now, just know that we are ready. We'll be ready um, to kick off when after school starts, and we'll be going virtual. And then when kids do start coming back in person, we'll probably have a combination because everybody won't come back to school um, into the building, but we'll be ready for all of that. We're excited about being able to serve as always, and we just appreciate y'all so much for coming alongside us in this um, journey that's new and different for everybody. So I hope you're taking good care of yourselves, and until we meet again, bye-bye.